<sighs> my nerves are at their wits end. My whole body hurts. I've had to laugh it off and like be like, sorry, tourist, sorry. That had to be the easiest customs ever. I mean, ever. The customs officer just took my passport, smiled at me, gave me the stamp, and that's it. That's amazing. I feel better already. <laughs> this is great. Let's go find our rental car and explore Iceland. So I'm in the van now, the shuttle, with Sandra. Yep. Sandra is my awesome transport driver to Cuckoo Campers, where I will go and get my camper van and be on my way. So, how long have you lived here? Two and a half years. Is it true that uh, March 1st is beer day? Uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> I just found out about that recently, <laughs> so that made me very happy. <laughs> and then I also found out that I can go north and find a, a place that does a beer bath. Yes, ah. true. The only one place. Can I get there with um, uh, with a regular camper? Yeah. A two easy. by four? Mm -hmm. Yes. That is the first mission. <laughs> <laughs> and then go south and maybe do Golden Circle or I don't know. I don't like to plan things, Sandra. It's the best. It's, it's so, even hard to have a plan and, and, and I stick to it. Yeah. Many times you will have a moment. It's like, damn, I want to stop here. Like I can't miss this view. Yeah, yeah. And I you don't want to have. Sit uh, down and have a coffee or whatever. I want it to be natural. And there so. are a hundred places like this. It's awesome. like really hard to have a plan. If you will have a plan, then you won't stick to it. No plans. I'm Let's just do it. I'm going to the south too in a week. <laughs> Yo, who are you gonna call? <laughs> Let's get inside. Let's take a look. Woo! Well, all right, it's time. I will admit fully, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't normally travel by myself like this, so this is gonna be interesting. And I gotta drive stick. So, wish me luck, because I'm gonna need it. Wow, this is insane. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Off and rolling. I am scared right now, driving in a foreign country on a stick shift. I don't even know which direction I'm going right now. I'm just trying to learn the car. I'm just winging it. So, wish me luck. <sighs> okay. Renting a manual was a bad idea. I highly suggest if you don't know how to drive manual, don't rent a manual in a foreign country. Seems silly, right? Seems obvious. But when you're looking at the price here versus this price there, it's just so easy. You're like, ah, I got it. <sighs> I'm getting better, but I stopped traffic like four times and people just backed up behind me, just honking and I'm like, ah, I'm trying to get this thing to move. <sighs> My nerves are at their ends right now. My whole body hurts from the nerves right now. Tourist, sorry. Had one guy get out and help me. Going up hills is the worst. And there's nothing but hills in this country. Oh, <sighs> not a smart idea. But this is my home for the next six days, so I gotta make it work. I gotta figure it out. Well, I'm doing much better, much better. I've calmed down. I've only stalled like maybe twice more. Definitely have the hang of it now. Never thought I'd have to come to a foreign country before I learned how to drive manual. So, you know, 
There's a time and a place for everything. I remember my grandmother way back when, way before I could even think about driving. It must have been like 10, 12 years old. My grandma was trying to teach me how to do stick and I just couldn't get it then. And I just kind of put it out of my brain since then without much other thought about it. So learning it here in this other country with the responsibility of a, of a camper van is not advised. Not advised. But if you gotta do it, YouTube's the shit. YouTube is how I learn. I sat there for 30 minutes, calmed down, and watched videos. I went to a parking lot and just got it till I could figure it all out. So I've got about 25 minutes till I hit my destination, the campsite. And so I should be good. Well, you know, it's kind of hitting me right now, but made it. We made it together. Iceland, baby. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, it's been some hours now. I took a good nap under the circumstances. It's windy outside and I'm cold, but I'm snuggled up to a hot meal watching Liar Liar. <laughs> Needed to eat something because I was so hungry when I woke up. I don't care where you are in the world, pork and beans, that's where it's at. If you can find it, it's a staple meal. And I found it here in Iceland, which doesn't surprise me, but oh, it reminds me of camping back home. And it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I'm sure you can hear that wind out there howling. That wind is howling out there. And this camper van does not provide for much insulation on the inside, which I've come to quickly realize. So that kind of sucks, but I'm still in Iceland. Tomorrow we're gonna try to go to a place up north and get a beer bath. That would be amazing. A hot beer bath and some ice cold beer on the side, freshly in a tap. But for tonight, huddled in, snuggled up, and wide awake. And it's only 1 a.m. <laughs> but all good. <laughs>